Hi guys, my name is Gina Gemscom and welcome to episode 8 of Sims 4 A Black Widow Challenge. This is our Black Widow, Imogen. She's just cooking up some mac and cheese, I think she's cooking up. She's still very sad from Sergio dying, although we know that that is an act. We know that that is pretend. She's just putting it on. She is not upset from Sergio. She is a fool. She can't cook anything. She's dropping the salt into the mac and cheese. We know she's not really upset. She's very heavily pregnant. I kind of wanted Don and Imogen to get married before the baby came. But last episode, Don proposed and it kind of, let's just put this away. Don proposed and it didn't really go to plan. Imogen said no for some unknown reason. She's our Black Widow. She's supposed to want this, but she didn't. Never mind, we're going to try, and she's sad for another two days, it says, but her baby is due, give birth in question mark, she's in her third trimester, she should give birth in this episode, so I think we're going to put off the, um, what is it, the proposal until after the baby has arrived, but I have got something new and exciting to show you while she just goes and cries out in bed, is that what she's doing, yeah, she's crying out in bed, you don't have to pretend Imogen, there's nobody around here, so you can just, just get out, this is not you, go and have a dance, that is more like you should, what you should be doing, go and dance, in fact I know what she needs to do, because I meant to show you, like I said, come outside, and we have our new little, Imogen's got a new hobby, she likes to just ignore these things on the floor at the moment. I need to sort that out. But Imogen has a new hobby. She's taken up gardening. So she has built a nice... She has got rid of the pool. She, doesn't, she no longer wants that little pool in the corner from last episode. It reminds her too much of bad things that have happened. And so she's taken up gardening. She's built herself a nice little shed, greenhouse thing in the back garden. And she comes in here and does her, or so everybody thinks that's what she does. Unfortunately, I haven't unlocked the secret door, gutted about that, but never mind. There's so many things I haven't unlocked that I wanted to use in this build, but I couldn't, which I was gutted about. But yeah, so she comes in here, pretends to do her gardening, but secretly, what is actually down here, there is a door, a, pretend it's a secret door. In fact, you can lock doors these days, can't you? I think I will lock it so only she, like, she's got the only key to it. Go down these steps and here, in fact, let's go and I'll do it now whilst whilst we're down here. Can we drag it out? Oh, yes, we can. We can drag it out. We're going to put all of the, um, what are these called, urn <laughs> things down, down here in the dungeon because we go through here. And there's a little corridor, and this is a dungeon where we can maybe keep some of our husbands. There's just like a little bed, toilet, and sink in there. Nothing particularly in there for them. And yeah, we're going to maybe, Don maybe could be the next one. We could put Don down in our dungeon. That sounds like a good plan. But we haven't even married Don yet, so let's just calm down with all of that, <laughs> that idea. But what I think I need to do today, whilst... Don, what time does Don get in from work? I don't know. He, he is back at 8 o'clock, so we'll leave him at work. What we do need to do is get image, go out with Imogen and mingle a little bit with the blokes. I know she's heavily pregnant, but she definitely needs to, we have no idea of who her next husband is going to be. Right, let's just, let's just go out, let's just travel with with Imogen and should we, mm, I kind of like the look of Caden, he is married, Bowen, Bowen, he hasn't, he, I don't think he's married, I can't really remember, Dominic is married, let's, let's go with Bowen, okay right, where should we go, should we go, I feel like maybe just like a cafe or something, or maybe the park, Hair Square Park, Let's go to the park. Right, here we are at the park then. Let's let's chat to him. Are we tired? No. I thought her energy was right up. I have no idea. 
why that's happened. Let's let's chat to him. It's probably not the best sort of thing tactic. Like we're all um, heavily pregnant and going out flirting, but we'll we'll go and try. <laughs> we'll. Uh, she's, Let's just have a little look if there's anybody else around. Ooh, there are some people around. Who's this? Bjorn Bjorgsen. He's married. Oh, Bowen is a loner. Mm. Maybe not so good then. Who's this dude? He's a teen. Wolfgang. Okay, we'll just stick with Bowen for now then. We'll just have a little... Do a few little interactions with him. Yell at? Don't yell at. Great and day. Let's ask about his career. What does he do? She needs the toilet. Oh my goodness, no. She might have to. We, this is not going to work. I like the look of him. Should we talk to him instead? Let's go and friendly introduce ourselves. Oh, hang on, who's this? Oh, that's Bjorn. Bowen, I mean. He's just... Oh, no, look, she's so tired, and she's hungry, and... Let's ask him about... Let's find out about him. Discuss his interests. Should we just try and be romantic straight away? No, baby. No, no, maybe not. She's still feeling super sad about the whole... Uh, Sergio thing. She is going to have to go home soon because she is quite tired and the baby's on the way pretty soon as well. <laughs> Bowen's like, um, I came to the park with you and now you're just like lying on the grass or on the floor with some other guy. Uh, there's a party. Um, no, we won't go to the party. I like this guy. <laughs> I think probably the best thing that she needs to do is go home, in all honesty. <laughs> She's about to give birth, but she can't help herself coming out flirting. Should we try a little flirt? See how it goes down? Let's just try a little flirt. Oh, try, we can't really flirt. Oh, no, she's going to... Oh, no, she's dropping. There we go. She's gone. <laughs> He's like, oh, right, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Right, let's go home with her. She is. She does need to go to sleep, and baby is going to be here soon. Let's go home. Right, back at home, she needs toilet and bed. Is what this lady needs. Look at Don. <laughs> he is having the time of his life. Yeah, he's enjoying himself. Let's turn it off now. <laughs> oh, I think this. I think Labour might be starting. Her back is very sore. I think, from this huge belly. <laughs> the way she just walks around the house in um, in those clothes. Where's she going? Going to have a chat? Okay, fair enough. Right, I think... Yeah, let's chat. Try to cheer up. Let's cheer her up. Try and... Uh, Console her about death? No, because she's she's not upset. Let's. I don't want to console her. I don't know which one was console now. Let's kiss her cheek. Don't forget the romance. Is she feeling any better? No, she's still sad. Twelve hours. 12 hours until she's not sad. The baby will be here soon, though. Let's go and do a woohoo. See if the woohoo will make the baby come out. Yeah, they're going for a woohoo. And then hopefully... Oh my goodness, I didn't ask you guys for names. We should have asked for suggestions for baby names. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use... Comment down below baby names for future babies, boys and girls. But I'm going to use the baby name suggestions from the Runaway Teen series. I hope you guys are okay with that. I've got them all written down here because I put them all into like a hat. 
loads of you commented because Isabel in my Runaway Teen series recently had a baby. And oh my goodness, fireworks going off. That was a good woohoo. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to use gonna use those suggestions but comment down below for future babies of Imogen's in this series right, I have just gone and pulled out a boy's name and a girl's name and so I have got them both for when the baby arrives no Don is going down there John come here get back up these stairs he is gonna discover the secret I need to lock this door John, come here. Is he coming back? Yes, phew. I don't think he saw. It's all good. Okay, right. How do I lock a door so that only somebody can use it? Let's, uh, we need to, i lock door for, okay. Can I do any door? Lock door for everyone for Imogen. Yes, that's it. Locked off everyone but Imogen. Perfect. Phew, that was close. Goodness me. That was real close. Let's see. Oh, she's so miserable. Oh, she's going to labour. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. She has gone. It, she doesn't look like she's gone to labour. She's just standing there still. Ooh. Break up. Ah, oh, let's take a picture. See if they want to take a picture whilst while she's in labour. Oh no, Don is not seeming to be liking the whole thing. You see that panic? Let's go and see if. I don't know whether Don is going to like the fact that he's having to look after somebody else's baby. <laughs> But hopefully he'll be alright with it. Well, not that it matters because he'll be dead soon, <laughs> to be honest. Oh no, look, Don is tense. Oh look, pre parental panic. It's time to go. Oh, it's gone. I missed it. He was panicking about being a stepdad. Don't worry, Don. We have plans for you. Ha 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 ha. Right. Do you want to take a shower? I know you're in labour, but take a shower. You're a bit dirty. Don't have the baby in the shower, though. Oh, here we go. Since there's a baby on the way, <gasps> we've got a little bassinet. Okay, here we go. His baby. Is Don going to come back and see the baby, or is he not bothered? Do you know what? Imogen doesn't care. Imogen just, she doesn't care whether Don's there or not, to be honest. It's a girl! Yay! Okay, right, so the girl's name that I chose is Vienna. How nice is that name? Thank you to whoever suggested that from the Runaway Teen series. It's a pretty name. Vienna Kaminsky. Hopefully there's only one. Is there only one? Where's the baby? Oh, it's paused. Yay! There we go. Ah. Look at that stomach straight away. She is back. Back to her old self. She's very sad still. Surely the birth of the baby has made it better slightly. Maybe. How long has she got left on her sadness? Four hours. I tell you. Okay, right. Let's go to sleep for a little bit. Have a little afternoon nap. You're quite tired after labour. Don't look after the baby. Oh, stop crying, Imogen. You're getting on my nerves now. Go to sleep. Don's going to look after the baby, even though he's probably not very happy about it. <laughs> Filthy. Go and have a thoughtful shower before the baby starts crying. Come on. I've never seen Don in that outfit before. Come on, Don. Propose. Is he going to? Oh, oh, for goodness sake. Um, propose. Right, here we go. Come on, Don. Don is proposing. Right, you best say yes this time. <laughs> no! Oh my goodness, Imogen! Why is it right? Oh. 
<laughs> right, let's see if she will propose to him. Imagine she's proposing to John. This doesn't make any sense. Like, he's non-committal, so I wonder whether... No! Oh my goodness! Oh, my headphones have just fallen off. Oh, they... Neither of them... What are we going to do? They won't... They, like... Neither of them will marry each other. Why? Unwanted marriage. Timing is everything. Okay. Maybe we need to wait a while. Maybe I'm rushing this a bit too much. Right. I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. I am quite irritated that neither of them want to get married to each other. Oh my goodness. Any tips, guys, if you've got them on getting them to want to marry each other? I don't know what to do. I'm just going to carry on being romantic. Maybe just go on a, out on a date. Not sure. Yeah, let me know down in the comments any kids' names for the future. And let me know kind of what you want to do with Vienna. Should we age her up pretty soon? Or should we leave her as a baby? I feel like I want to age you up quite soon because babies can be a little bit of a pain, to be honest, in Sims 4. Uh, so I'll probably age you up relatively soon if you guys are all right with that. And But she's not really going to have her own room. I don't know. I'll have a little... We haven't actually got that much money, to be honest. <laughs> we really do need to kind of get married to Don, ship him out, get another one in. Somebody with lots of money. Maybe... Who's got lots of money? Maybe more, um, Mortimer. We could. I know. Does it say in the rules that you're not supposed to go for married guys? I think I may break that rule if that is one of the rules. Mm. Anyway, guys, well, thank you so much for watching this video. Go ahead and thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys soon for a new video. Bye.